welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. So today I came outside and I noticed that the sky looked a little bit strange. The clouds were not as white and fluffy as they normally are, but instead they were gray and ugly and muggy. And it was just one gray blanket of clouds. So I wonder what was happening with the clouds. So today, we are going to learn together about the different types of clouds that they are. So, come on, join us. We're now going to read a book about the clouds, and it's called <laughs> The Cloud Book. It was written and illustrated, meaning the pictures were drawn by Tommy De Paola. The Cloud Book. Let's get into it. Almost any time you go outside and look up at the sky, you can see clouds. Clouds are little drops of water or ice hanging in the upper atmosphere high above the earth. And if you could hop on a bird and fly way up, you would see the whole earth covered with clouds. There are many different types of clouds. Some are high up, some are in the middle, and some are low down to the sky. The three main kinds of, of clouds are called cirrus, cumulus, and stratus clouds. That's cirrus, cumulus, and stratus clouds. You can tell them apart by the way they look and by where they are in the sky. Cirrus clouds are white and feathery, and they are the highest clouds. They're sometimes called mare's tails. See, a mare is also a horse. And so because the clouds look like a horse's tail, it's called mare's tails. Cumulus clouds are puffy and look like cauliflowers. Hmm, do you like cauliflowers? <laughs> I love cauliflowers. They taste just like broccoli, but they're not. They're white cauliflowers. Broccoli are green, right? Yeah. They also have flat bottoms. They're always changing shape and are low down in the sky. Stratus clouds are also low. They look like wide blankets of gray and are sometimes called high fogs. Drizzle or snow flurries may fall from them. There are also many other kinds of clouds. They have longer names because, well, they look like cirrus, cumulus, or stratus clouds mixed together in pairs. Cirrocumulus clouds are small, fleecy masses that are hard to see. They are very high up in the sky. Some people call them macro sky. Macro are fish, so they look like fish. The French call them muttons, which means sheep. So in France, they call their sheep muttons, and that's what these clouds look like. Pretty cool. Cirrostratus clouds are high up too. They cover the sky in thin milky white sheets. So when you look up at the sun and the moon through them, you can see a halo, like a ring. Cirrostratus clouds are sometimes called bedsheet clouds. <laughs> 
alto stratus and alto cumulus clouds are found in the middle of the sky. Alto stratus clouds look like sheets of gray or blue and rain or snow may fall from them. Alto cumulus clouds, they look like zero cumulus clouds, but the puffs are much larger. They are gray or whitish, and if you walk underneath them, you might feel some drizzle or some snow flurries. <laughs> Nimbostratus, stratocumulus, and cumulolimbus clouds are low down in the sky. Steady rain or snowfalls from nimbostratus clouds. They are easy to see because, well, they're heavy and dark. That's where the rain, really, really strong rain and thunderstorms come from. Even the hurricanes. <laughs> Growing up in the islands, there's a lot of hurricanes. Stratocumulus clouds look like rolls of blackish or bluish clouds, but they are not really rain clouds. They're often seen in the winter, and that's where snow comes from. Cumulonimbus clouds are the time of clouds you see during a thunderstorm. They look like mountains or very tall cumulus clouds. And fog is a cloud made of water. Fog is made of water. Huh. Well, it's made of water droplets that form at the ground. It can come right into your front yard, especially if you live on a mountain. Up in the mountains, people give special names to clouds. One is called a banner cloud. The other is called the boa cloud because it looks like a snake. In the olden days, people looked at clouds and saw things. Like the Native Americans, they saw thunderbirds in the dark storm clouds. And the ancient Greeks believed that Hermes, the messenger of the gods, once stole the sun's cattle. And in Labrador, which is way up north, people believed that the fog was caused by a white bear who drank too much water and he burst. <laughs> people saw giants animals, ships, and castles in the clouds too. There are some sayings about clouds that help tell about the weather. For example, farmers say that when the fog goes up to the mountain hopping, then the rain comes down the mountain a dropping. <laughs> and for travelers, they say, Evening red and morning gray set the traveler on his way. Evening gray and morning red bring down rain upon his head. <laughs> there are funny sayings too. If people don't seem to know what they are doing, other people say, he's in a fog. Or, she has her head in the clouds. And now, here's a very silly cloud story. The cloud enters the room. The cloud fills the room. The cloud leaves the room. The room. <laughs> so you see, clouds are fun, silly, and can be very interesting too. <laughs> The end. Clap for story time! <laughs> oh, it's getting really, really dark, and the wind is getting so strong. That can only mean one thing. It's about to rain very hard. We better go inside. But that means we'll have to end our fun. Well, not necessarily. How about we go inside and make a big tent. We can still have fun inside. Come on, let's go.
friends. So when you're building your tent, be sure to ask your parents to use the materials in your house before you go for it, okay? All right. So what you will need is you can use an old sheet or a comforter or a blanket. And you can either drape it over a table or if you have maybe four chairs or four stools, you can drape it over the stools. I have stools, so <laughs> this is my tent. <laughs> All right, are you ready to get inside? Let's go! I am in my tent. <laughs> I can't wait to see the tents that you guys built. All right, so now we're in here. Let's see, what can we do? Maybe we can tell some scary, spooky campfire stories. Ooh. Or we can play some games. Or maybe we could sing some songs about the ugly rain that's going on outside. Hmm, I like that. Let's sing some songs about the rain. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. He's snoring, he's snoring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Oh, Mr. Sun, the sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Shh. Do you hear that? No more thunder. No more lightning. And no more rain. It seems like the rain has stopped. Oh, let's go out and see. Oi, before you go, make sure you put away your sheet, put away all of your stuff and clean up our tent. Then ask your parents to go outside and see if the rain has stopped. Come on, let's go. It seems that the sun heard our song and it has finally come out so that we can play. We had so much fun today. First, we learned about the types of clouds that they were. Then we went inside because it was raining, but we built our big tent and we sung songs about the rain. It was so much fun. But before we go, can you tell us what were the three main types of clouds? Huh? The first one was the cirrus cloud, correct. What was the second cloud? The cumulus cloud, excellent. And the third one? The stratus cloud, you are so smart. Wonderful job, guys. Remember, there are lots more clouds out there, so now that the sun is back out, Take a look outside and see what type of cloud is in the sky. Remember what the cloud looks like when it's about to rain. Thank you again for joining us, and we hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember to love yourself, and I love you. Bye!